When Diwali is celebrated in the Durban of today, it's a joyful experience and it's easy to forget the long and hard struggle that took place before the festival was officially recognised in 1910. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of this year's event while keeping the historical perspective in mind. It was anything but a typical Saturday morning in Itaquini and Madhushan was at the starting point of the event. Durban in the early summer is an amazing place to be. And I'm not just talking about the weather. Although, when the rainy season begins, it's when Diwali comes around. And ever since I was a little kid, I've always felt a buzz when it's the time for the Festival of Lights. Diwali has always been a very special festival to me. And this year, it's even more exciting because it's my first time as a Mela presenter. The festival has many layers of meaning, as Mr. Ashwin Trikamji explained. What is the significance of the float procession as part of the Durban Diwali Festival? The float procession is to bring to the attention of all South Africans, particularly people who don't really have the time to find out what Diwali is all about and who are busy on a Saturday morning. And suddenly, there's a float procession with a different set of theme, music, dance, and that's what Diwali is all about. We are particularly proud of the fact that we started off as a Hindu festival. But today, people from all faith groups, from all cultures, from all races, everyone just joins in, in the spirit of Diwali. So it's been quite a long day and I've worked up quite an appetite. So I'm going to go check out some of the food stalls. There were ample offerings for Madhushan's appetite. So now that I've got my food sorted out, it's time to check out the rest of the stalls. The stalls and the overall ambiance of the event offered a real-life example of what the word Mela truly means. It's all about togetherness, as the festival director explained. The theme for this year is Vasudeva Kutumbakam. It's Sanskrit, meaning the world is one big family. Two fireworks display being our 20th year. We've had one last night. We're having one tonight at 8 p.m. with fireworks from the airplane. So that is something spectacular for us. Of course, you don't have to be in a plane to fly. As the sun sets behind me, I'm looking forward to tonight's musical extravaganza and of course, the ever-entertaining fireworks display. The fireworks spouting stunt aerobats held everyone's attention and then it was time to gather for the official opening and focus on the spiritual significance and broader message of the event. Devotional songs set the tone before Mr. Trikamji welcomed the guests of honour and the people of Durban to the 2018 Durban Diwali Festival. For us at the Hindu Mahal Sabha, it's an absolute pleasure to serve the people of South Africa. We don't serve the Hindu community only when we stage the Durban Diwali Festival. There's a lot of talk in South Africa about social cohesion. This is social cohesion right on the ground and I think all of you need a round of applause for that. Music and dance have always played a profoundly important role in Hindu spiritual life and the performers celebrated the central theme of good triumphing over evil. Afterwards, the chair of the commission for the promotion and protection of the rights of cultural, religious and linguistic communities delivered an address. What we do for a living is to promote and protect all cultures, all religions and all languages. There can be no question that the Durban Diwali Festival transcends cultural boundaries and the Afro-Indian fusion of dance captured the spirit of inclusivity with movement and music. The keynote address was delivered by an iconic figure on the South African political landscape. I'm here not only as a political leader, but as a lifelong friend of the Indian community. Through many good friendships, I've had the privilege of experiencing the very heart of the Indian community. With the formalities complete, the fun could begin, with fearless members of the family enjoying the rides while others preferred the earthbound pleasures of shopping and snacking. But no matter whether you were there for the thrills or the fireworks, the universal message remained the same, that the darkness of ignorance and evil will be overcome by the light of knowledge and good. 